Let's see how she does. Launch. Oh! Oh! Look at that sound. Look at that. She's beautiful, isn't she? I'm at the Beast Motor Complex in front of the Beast Motor headquarters in the Safari Business Park. And you may say, Safari, what does that have to do with reviewing a 2019 EV400 I Pace Jaguar? Well, it has a lot to do with it. As the car drives by to take a look. Growing up back home in Nigeria, I had the opportunity to grow up and see a lot of people come from the UK with beautiful Range Rovers, Land Rovers, and even Jaguars. And Jaguar is a name that's synonymous with speed, style, comfort, and performance. With a very rich racing history, it's no surprise that when they built their very first EV, they combined EV performance with excellent handling. Now, this thing is no lightweight vehicle. This is over 4,700 pounds, but acts very nimble to boot. As an engineer, what I love about this car is not only is there a lot of technology infused into this body, but the coefficient of drag is very low to help with keeping that range very nicely. The coefficient of drag is about 0.29, which is great, right? With lots of vents that are functional, that allows air to seamlessly go around and inside the body and out. But with the EV400 model, which I'm sure denotes the 300 and 95 horsepower that this is able to achieve with over 519 pounds of torque this thing is no slouch 0 to 60 in the four second range which doesn't set the world ablaze but it's still quite fast for an suv of this caliber jaguar did a great job looks very good 20 inch wheels wrapped around these beautiful goodyear tires to give it great grip but most importantly safety is paramount with a heads-up display which i'll show you in a moment Creature comforts that are very nice, seats that allow it to remain cool, an excellent infotainment system that's very interactive. Jaguar has really mated modern technology with the agile handling and luxury that you come to expect from the Brits. Starting off with this Photon Red first edition model, let's take a look at the rear and it's quite nice because it can carry quite a bit of items. And as we go to the back here, you can use the key or even a press button down here, right in the middle, and it automatically, just like magic, opens up the rear. As you can see, this has the capability of carrying quite a few items. There are quite a few very cool accessories from Jaguar that actually exist here right now. And I even have the opportunity to have my Pure bag, which has my plug-in J1772 <laughs> charger with me, right, just in case. Um, if you're using a standard, because of the 90 kilowatt hour battery, if you're using a standard, let's spun again, if you're using a standard charging port, you will have to, if fully depleted, wait at least 10 hours to fully charge this. And the charging port is right there. And the cool thing is that it won't open unless unlocked. So, see the door handle? Let's go ahead and press a button here and unlock it. Very nice, very futuristic. And now we have access to the charge port. And what's really cool about this is not only does it have the standard J1772, underneath here it has a flap that allows us to do direct DC to DC power charging. With a level two, you can take up to 10 hours to charge this. With a direct DC to DC, you can get up to a nice charging standard north of 80, 90% in 40 minutes, which is pretty nice. And what's really nice in terms of safety as well to prevent theft, if you plug this in and your vehicle is locked, it will not allow you to pull away the charger, which is very nice for safety and to ward away theft. So I like that very much. So let's go ahead and go inside open this up, pull the handle, and let's take a look at the beauty of this interior. Now, what I like about this, not only do I have a Meridian sound system, one thing I really find appealing with this Jaguar, as you take a look here, have about 243 mile range, 96% 96, 96 charge, very nice indeed, no range anxiety here. The steering, now you may say, okay, what's the big deal? Let me close the door. What's the big deal with the steering? Well, there is an industry leader that also has, and I say industry in terms of EV performance vehicles, that also has an SUV. And if you look at that steering wheel, it's quite ugly, but this is very attractive, nice supple leather, looks and feels extremely rich, which is nice. So as you look around, the appointments is very clever indeed. And as Americans do tend to love, nice cup holders here as well. 
Oh, of course, with COVID, I have to be safe, so I have my little cover mask for my mouth and nose. Down inside here, we have a nice cubby hole that allows us to place some more items as well. Very nice wood grain, very nice appointments. Once again, Jaguar is a company that has been building cars for years, for decades, and they know quality and how to make things look very well. While some other EV manufacturers tend to have interiors that are not very attractive at all. Even up top here for sunshades, you can go ahead and push this down and you can have access to, which just fell out my sunshades. That's funny. Anyway, put that back in. That's my fault. I didn't put it in properly. Close that up. And up top here, a nice, elegant panoramic, panoramic roof, which is very important for us in California. It's very nice indeed. I'm sure other parts of the country as well. So let's go ahead and start this up. Looking around, you may think, okay, maybe you should have a key in this area or something in this area, like a Porsche, but no. Right here, near this aluminum bezel, you put your foot on the brake and start. And there it is. She is alive. She is alive. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and put my seatbelts on. And that's that. Now, you have a very nice entertainment system here, which is quite intuitive. But one thing that's not intuitive, but also very clever, is how to activate your climate control. So as you see these buttons here, you can actually push down and it gives you the opportunity to either heat up as you go clockwise or cool down your seats. And you can do that for either the passenger and driver independently. For air conditioning, you can pull up and you have the opportunity to have the fan. You can push again to be able to change the temperature. But if you pull up, you can definitely change the fan modulation clockwise for more. Ah, it feels good. Or kind of clockwise for less fan activity. Something else I want to talk about which is very really clever is you have the ability of raising and lowering the vehicle. Yes, there is a dynamic uh, suspension control which activates and can lift up the suspension. Oh, that felt good. Look, my whole car just went up. And now it's at normal height. You can even go higher. And it's now off-road height. Oh my God, it's like, I hope I don't have to get a nosebleed here, but now it's really up in the air. Wow, it's pretty high. I want to see if it shows me the height. Oh, look at that. That thing is lifted, huh? Look how lifted that is. It is up in the air. Okay, let's go back out. Take a look. And now it's lowered. See that? Front and rear, which is pretty cool. Okay. So back in the car, it says ignition on. Door closed. See butt on. Okay, so we have all that cool stuff, right? Now let's talk modes, which is pretty cool. Down here, you also have different modes. So you can select Eco, which does great things in having very nice miserly consumption of energy. Next one down is Comfort, which is very nice. So it softens up the suspension as well, gives you a little bit more power. And then of course, my personal favorite with the checkered flag dynamic. Now this does a great job in making the steering wheel a little heavier and so on and so forth. So let's do a quick drive in dynamic mode so i'll press the button to drive it and now let's take off okay oh this thing feels solid oh my goodness it feels solid and as i listen it's not completely quiet it has this that nice mechanical whine that i love at ev moto <laughs> <laughs> that I love to do in my own EV conversions to give it some that nice feel here at oh yeah that's nice that sounds really good now there's something I'm in a closed circuit here so I want to show you something that is really cool so I'm in a complex here closed circuit not on a public road but I want to show you something that's really cool okay so straighten her out right here Okay, here we go. Let's see how she does. Launch. Oh! Oh! Here, look at that sound. So, you heard that? Guys, girls, it sounded like, almost like a petrol engine. It's, I don't know if that's natural or artificial, but it has this nice petrol sound to it, like So that that's pretty cool and pretty clever. It's pretty nice. So it gives this nice feedback of how you're going, how fast you're going, which is pretty nice. And for an SUV to be able to take off like this and have and just be absolutely fantastic, it's great. 
So Jaguar, Jaguar, as we say back home, kudos to you. You built a very nice car. You had the opportunity to really create a vehicle that doesn't feel close to 5,000 pounds, that handles amazingly well, that dare I say is the epitome of SUV performance that also is clean with zero emissions. So very good job. I expect to see more from Jaguar um, or Jaguar. And uh, once again, Rusnak, thanks so much for allowing me the opportunity to experience this. Now I'm hooked. I may have to get one of these and add to my stable. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Stay safe. And uh, let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below. Take care, everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.